I request our boxers Isha Fernandez, Rahul Fernandez, Chotu Kumar Singh, Suman Yadav, Samir Kenjkira, Abu Talib to present our guests with flawless bouquet and a token of appreciation. Secretary of Goa Boxing Association, Ms. Danushka Dagaman, to welcome our guest. Director SAG, Mr. B.M. Prabhupada President, Goa Boxing Association and MLA Portwood in Rowan County, our treasurer, Hemant Nagwita, the man from whom we are gathered, Lenny the Gama, uh, and all of you all gathered here. Uh, thank you very much, all of you all, for gathering here. I, it's an honor and privilege to felicitate Mr. Lenny the Gama. And uh, today's function would have not been possible without the help of Double Tree by Hilton. And uh, though CM, Mr. Govind Gaude uh, and Mr. Sripad Naik couldn't be here, I think uh, all that is immaterial when it comes to felicitating Lenny De Gama. So thank you everybody for being part of this boxing journey and for supporting us all through. And uh, we'll, I welcome all the guests on the days and we take it forward from here. Thank you. With over 30 years of experience in organization and administration of sport events at national and international level, VM Prabhu Desai has worked with Lenny Lagama during the Sophonia Games. They share a love-hate relationship because of the sport, but Prabhu Desai always has been supportive of boxing. May I request him to share his experience working with Lenny Lagama and his thoughts about him? Confer has uh, put a bookie. Uh, <laughs> we never have had a love-head relationship in the first place, I want to clarify. And in sport, uh, there is no such uh, you know, place for uh, any, any hatred 
or for that matter friction. There could be a difference of opinion, but there couldn't be friction. So the chief guest of this afternoon function, uh, a renowned industrialist, former, uh, you will wonder what connection he has with sports, those of you who do not know. He is former uh, president of Goa Football Association, the owner of a large club called the Post Sports Club, owner of and uh, football academy in old Goa, and uh, extremely, you know, he has worked closely with the AIFF, the All India Football Federation. So the man who promoted, who has immense uh, contribution towards not only promotion of industry, getting money, uh, distributing money, but also promotion of sport and promotion of state sport called football. We have the uh, Honorable MLA Parwari and President of uh, Goa the Boxing Association, Gaba we call it short. Uh, then we have the man who is being felicitated, who is made Goa proud, India proud, to his uh, deep involvement into promotion of sport. My uh, relationship with Lenny has been for nearly three decades. The Sports Authority of Goa, we have done a number of events together and the biggest possible event we could do together uh, was the Lusophonia Games, successful conduct of the Lusophonia Games. While I was director of sport and director of the entire competition event, he was my deputy and uh, still we carry a very cordial relationship for the information of the media present here. Uh, and uh, I want to say that the government of Goa, the Sports Authority of Goa has also decided to felicitate uh, Lady Bob uh, very soon. In fact, now during my interaction after the function, I'll be obtaining date from him, his convenient date. He's going to Delhi shortly to come back after a week or so. So immediately after his return from Delhi, there will be similar felicitation from the Sports Authority of Goa and the Goa government side. So we are extremely happy at his achievement. One single quality of Lenny Gama could be his commitment to sport. His uh, wholehearted, you know, indulgence into promotion of boxing, and which I have seen for uh, three decades from Claude. While we were at Kampao, the Sports Authority of Goa, we had the boxing ring right under our nose, and uh, so much so that the visitors, the staff, and the sports people of other games, I wouldn't say would tolerate, would would, uh, you know, would help boxing and Lady Gama uh, to undergo all the training right in the office. You could imagine there is a ring here and we are holding a function here. So such was the environment. We stood like a rock with uh, Lenny and Gaba and that is, uh, that is why I would say partly you will see the progress, whatever progress Gaba has made he has made as a, as a trainer, as the chief coach, as the chief promoter. So we would like to have at least, if not lion's share, a sizable share uh, in the progress of boxing as much as it is there in the promotion of other games. We uh, wish him all success. Uh, I could see him working in Tokyo from clothes. Uh, and his performance is rated to be very high uh, for his very trait of uh, you know the commitment, sense of commitment, sense of belonging, and his sense of sacrifice. Crucial time of his life he has devoted for promotion of boxing. There uh, haven't been, I would say, many promoters of the caliber of uh, Lenny Gama. There couldn't be any dispute. There could be dispute on any other matter, but when it comes to his involvement, his commitment, there should not be any dispute, any question asked. So, 
I congratulate GABA for having uh, taken time in felicitating uh, Leni at the right juncture. This will motivate him to devote more time for promotion of boxing at the state level and at the national level and international level. I would request Leni on personal calm that he develops two, three additional Lenis in the next one or two years. Of course, Danushka is there. Uh, we have some outstanding promoters uh, in Treasurer, uh, you know, Nagwekar, Heman. Uh, new promoters are emerging uh, in the form of Pelagia and Francis. And of course, we have our coaches who will stand like rock with uh, Lenny, I assure him. We also have among us uh, our director coaching, Sports Authority of Goa, uh, Bruno Coutinho. He is also there to support Lenny in all his endeavors. We have Philip, uh, who is also very active, you know, promoter, vice president of GABA. So all in all, it's a very healthy scenario. Uh, and what we need to now uh, see is resumption of boxing activities. The GABA and the South District Boxing Association is opening new centers, in, one in Vasco, one in Patoda with the help of Sports Authority of Goa. New centers will grow new talent and maybe in the next seven, eight years, we should have some boxers qualified for international events uh, playing for India. If not, the uh, Paris or Los Angeles Olympics, I'm sure the 1936 Olympic should be the sure uh, opportunity for such a young talent. Uh, I thank GABA for having called me here. Uh, we will assemble once again uh, very soon to felicitate. It will be second felicitation. Uh, Lenny should not get exhausted like uh, Neeraj Chopra uh, having felicitations one after other. I'm sure being a fighter pilot, resilience is another quality which I will see in Lenny in plenty during our interaction for the last so many years. So I'm sure he will inject that particular quality into whosoever is there with him in Gaba. We also appreciate the contribution being made by uh, the president, though he is a very active leader, politician, he makes way for uh, Gaba, he makes time for Gaba. And when you have, uh, you know, certain leaders at the helm of affairs of a particular sport, the sport gets uh, feeling it will get the right boost uh, for its promotion and spreading the roots of a particular sport. So maybe what uh, the Chilkas has done for football, uh, Rohan could do it for boxing. So thank you, friends, and all the best to them. Thank you so much, sir. I'm sure we'll have uh, many Goan boxers playing uh, at an international level soon. Uh, Emily, and president of GABA, Rowan County, was a sports person and has played a little bit of boxing during his higher education. As president of GABA, he has brought about a change in the administration and has filled in gaps. May I request him to share his thoughts? A very good evening to all of you. The chief guest for today's program, function, my good friend, Sri Srinivas Tempo, our love hate narration, what just happened now. Our good <coughs> friend, Sri Prabhu Desai, we only call him Anna, treasurer of Gaba, Sri Hemant Nagwekar. The person needs to be truly felicitated. Sri Lani Ragama. Both the North and the South Goa associations, boxing associations, they are representatives. All the coaches, well wishes of Lani. Not to miss out his daughter Danushka. Electronic media, press, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think it's quite a big day for all of us as far as boxing is concerned and Goa is concerned. I keep harping about how things should happen for sports in Goa. Anna definitely spoke about very positively about things which should happen. And we also feel being on the other side that we can make it happen. Tokyo Olympics has been an eye opener for all of us. Whether it was Lavlina or whether it was Satish, they have fought through and they have tried to get some glory for the country. They have, must have been short forms, there must have been a lot of things that needed to be stitched together. But we need to understand that end of the day there are sportsmen who get glory to the country and not infrastructure. Today in Goa maybe, when we talk about the government we have difference of opinions. We talk about developing sportsmen or sportswomen and the government talks about developing infrastructure. Infrastructure is required but when we do accountability of the infrastructure available and the ones utilized, I think there is a long way for us to fill the gaps. I am very firm of, I'm firm of the opinion that rather than giving big stadiums for political assemblies or speeches and organizing bigger events which are not, not sporty enough, we should start focusing on this type of areas where academies, where people like Baba can be taken in with the government. I think people who love sports and know about sports need to be included. Baba has been, I think, we know him from quite a young age. He has been the same guy as humble as always. I wouldn't be repetitive but having him in consonance with what the thoughts of the government are, then there are a lot of things that can be done. Academies, it's not only boxing, there are so many individual sports. Even the assembly, my whole debate goes about the type of money we spend every year on infrastructure and I always compare it with the type of money that we would need to get medals. For example, if you need to get 100 medals for Goa, for National Games or Kelo India, we need to understand which disciplines we can get into. And I'm pretty sure athletics, taekwondo, boxing are some of the individual sports that Goa can definitely get glory and get medals. What do we need to do? We need to have ensure that these sportsmen are taken care of. Rather than creating the structure for Lusophonia games which was created is still there. And now we are creating infrastructure for national games. We are creating further infrastructure, not knowing where we are going. And I am not being critic. I am trying to be very constructive in my thoughts of sharing this on this podium because I believe Anna also has a positive thought. Somewhere about that, maybe the show must be going on. And that's when we have a locking period. The type of money we spend on whether it's Samprasad Mukherjee Stadium or Bambolim Stadium and the type of revenues we earn are very bigger. And if we talk about actually creating sportsmen, when I was just checking with our Lenny about the diets that we have, she was telling me that 15,000 rupees can, a month can give us a good diet plan. If I convert it another 5,000 more as allowance and I say 20,000 rupees per month into 12 months is 2.4 lakhs per person. Into 100 is 2.4 crores. I think that 2.4 crores we are spending annually, which must be only 30% of the spend on the infrastructure. So we are spending big money on infrastructure and not developing any sports people. So I think this is this is where I think we need to come in together with a common agenda, common mindset if we need to develop sports like boxing. So when we have our thoughts coming through, Anna was of the opinion that we are very constructively walking, working. I said yes, we are. Today I think Govind Gaudi is not here. He is coming as a president of the South Goa Boxing Association. The South Goa Boxing Association has been aggressively trying to put up infrastructure in the south, which was a vacuum there, so that we can create boxers out there. In the north, again, Emmett and his team have been trying. What I am trying to narrate is, we need a little more support from the boxing, for boxing or maybe similar sports from the sports department. It might be giving us the facilities which have already been developed or facilities which we need to take over. In all decision makings, without the help of the government, things remain incomplete. 
and that's why I would look at Shri Prabhu Desai and the sports department and the sports minister and the government to support us at this time because this is the time the sports needs to grow. Lenny has been going to Tokyo and is given us a very proud moment for all of us to ensure that not only he goes to Tokyo but he is there for the whole thing overlooking the whole boxing competitions. One of the few that India has sent. A moment of pride for all of us. And Lenny has been the backbone for boxing for decades together. When we were small kids, and we used to, I used to play cricket and I used to play basketball. We used to have this uh, summer vacations, we used to have this uh, programs organized by SAG. We early morning we used to get one small cup of milk and one banana and four glucose biscuits. And that was like, yeah, after a morning workout, you need to get something to start with. And that was the diet plan of the SEG then. But from then, those days of the 80s, coming down to the 2021, 30, 40 years, there's been a tremendous change in thoughts and the process. But Lenny has been standing like a rock. As far as boxing is concerned, I came in as a president a couple of, I mean, five or six years back, just with the thought, okay, I need to support Lenny. So his ideas are there, he's got a passion to bring in the youngsters, push them across and ensure that they get glory for Goa. Boxing has been one of the few verticals I think, which has been getting maximum number of medals for any national games or any uh, international championship where Goa is concerned. But I still look forward to Sri Prabhupada Sai for supporting us much better. There are things left. I wouldn't want to get it on the stage here. I think he's aware about it and I'm pretty sure he's going to ensure that after any felicitation, he starts not walking but striding the things and getting them clear. Somebody asked me what is Lenny's blood group? So I said boxing quality. <laughs> so because everything he talks, sleeps, drinks, eats is about boxing and that's where he has a lot of clashes. He has clashes with the bo uh, boxing coaches, he has clashes with the authorities, he has clashes with many people. But that's not what he means to say about. He talks through his heart, not through his head. And that's where sometimes he gets very emotional when things don't happen for what efforts he tries to put across. He's very passionate about the sport. And I think the Boxing Federation of India has recognized the talent that our goal Lenny has and has given an opportunity to ensure that he represents not only Goa but the country as well and make us all of, make all of us very proud. I would look forward to all of you to give a big round of applause for the <laughs> type of achievements he has had in his whole life cycle. Things will go on, the world also will move in and the pandemic also will maybe continue or discontinue, I wouldn't know. But last two years, has been a challenging time for all of us. Challenging time for the young boxers who would like to train, the coaches who would like to train these boxers, the academies where we need to get our learnings right. And basically the whole sports fraternities are going through a big challenging job. When we talk about social distance, wearing a mask and sanitizing, it sounds good when we are sitting in this hall or moving around. But having sports in the same line of action is definitely more challenging than the sports itself. We have come through two phases, two phases of this COVID pandemic. The third wave is predicted somewhere in September. I think we have already started our way of getting certain areas where boxing has started. Coaches have started moving in. I would only call upon the coaches to ensure that we have had a step today where well, Lenny has again given us a start, a new start, a new beginning. We need to use it to the advantage of the young, the youth who we call as the future of our nation. We need to train them, we need to educate them because boxing is not only a brawny sport, it's also a brainy sport. We cannot talk about boxing by just hitting each other. If we do not have strategy, we do not have stamina and in the endurance, a mix of strength and a mix of intelligence, you can't win a match. And we have had a lot of boxers here who have trained under Lenny over time who have gained popularity not only in the state but nationally and internationally. As I wish you all all the very best, I would like to extend on behalf of GABA, I would like to extend all the best to Lenny. Having achieved, he's made all of us proud, but looking things, looking at things ahead, there are a lot more things to do. And Lenny, as a 
backbone for boxing. I'm sure we will be doing his best to ensure that all the support he can give to our people will be given so that we have the next Lavlina and we have the next Satish from our own state representing the country internationally and getting medals and glory for us. And I would look at the support what Lenny looks at. So the love-hate relationship, by the time the next achievement comes, becomes a love-love relationship between the two of you. On a lighter note, I wish Lenny and I definitely would like to thank Baba. He's been a sports lover and he's always been there for sports. He has been there as a moral booster for many things. I think he has been a person who's always on the background. He never is he's, he's never on the front. He's always like a backbone, can't be seen. But things can't stand without him. So I look forward to his support to sports like boxing. I wish Lenny all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for sharing your thoughts and speaking your heart out. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. And we have with us our chief guest who leads by example. Mr. Srinivas Tempo has led the Tempo Football Club to great heights. He played an important role during the under 17 Football World Cup in Goa. His inputs on sports are considered to be extremely valuable. He has been a support to boxing on several fronts and has a thorough understanding of sports administration. I would like to request you to share your thoughts, sir. all boxing and sport lovers in Goa. I'll begin with uh, Mr. Lenny Digama, who the man who we've all we have gathered to show our respect and love. My friend Rohan Kaute, who ably leads the Goa Amateur Boxing Association. Other office bearers of Gaba, Mr. Heman Nagwekar, uh, Danushka, my friend Anna Prabhadesai, who heads the government side of sports promotion. I somewhere saw Bruno, I think he's still there. I'm very proud of Bruno because he's been one of the few Arjuna awardees from the state of Goa. Uh, my team tried to get Bruno very unsuccessfully. Bruno, you remember an event where you were almost hijacked and Dempos tried their level best to get you, but you were so loyal to Salgaonkars and S. I salute you for that. Loyalty is one thing that is extremely important. Though I lost Bruno, but I won his respect and his integrity was undoubted. Bruno, we are here to salute your commitment and passion. I think as Rohan rightly said, unless we have committed and passionate people, sports in the state and country cannot move ahead. You know, and when I mean not move ahead. Most of the younger generation compares everything with money, monetary. I want to ask you how much money you made in boxing. And there the answer goes. The same way that I lose money in football, you lose in boxing. And at least I have deep pockets to sustain, but I salute people like you who have done it with complete passion, commitment and love for the game. So it's time now that Goa gets back to Lenny what Lenny desires. And as Rohan says, let's all resolve to get one female and one male boxer who is competent and capable enough to compete not only in national events but international events. And let me humbly state the request made by Rohan, the Empo Group will do whatever possible to support your association in terms of creating world-class boxing sports people. Some of you all may be aware, we run a scheme called the Goodwill Ambassador Scheme, where we had the likes of Bhakti Kulkarni, Natasha Pala. Uh, I think even before that, we had a few chess in addition to Bhakti. And I, I would like to see some boxing potential candidate to take up one of these Goodwill Ambassador Scheme. And what is required? I mean, I like the point that Rohan made. It's not enough to create hardware. And I, I compliment the government for creating the hardware because of course hardware is required. But equally important is the software. 
because if you have a computer and you don't know how to operate it and you don't have the desired software you can't go ahead it just sits there as hardware and one day it will get corroded the way many of our sports infrastructure is getting and nobody is using it so it's extremely important to create not 10 but 50 lenny gamas who will carry forward his mission and his passion for the game of boxing just imagine how Tokyo Olympics identified Lenny to be one amongst the six in the world. It's not among the six in the country. So you can imagine his commitment to the sport. You can imagine his expertise in the sports. And I was asking him earlier, I said, how long have you done it? He says, for more than 50 years. And if you see, he may have aged with white hair, but I think that energy level is still the same. Because when he shook hands with me, I felt a little... You know, I, I, I couldn't take that firm handshake. So that's the kind of commitment and passion each one needs in sports. And mind you, everything can't be committed to money. I remember the days when a press reporter from a national newspaper asked me, said, Mr. Tempo, you're spending so much of money on football. What drives you? Because you're a businessman. And everything a businessman does is equated to return of investment. So I described only two words, which I will also describe Lenny as. That I was foolishly passionate. Because it doesn't make sense, I completely agree. And by the same logic I went with putting a football academy, because when Dempo Sports Club had to back out of the I-League, I deliberated and deliberated and said, how do we continue to serve this beautiful game in Goa? And the only answer was, what, again, Rohan and Anna have said, that let's create world-class footballers, Goan footballers. And that's what we said. Today, 48 boys from Goa, from different backgrounds, are there in the academy. They get free nutrition, free training, free school, and they're doing a wonderful job. So everything cannot be equated with money. And that's what I think Lenny has demonstrated, and he has reached to being an evaluator, not in a national event, but the most premier world event, that is the Olympics. This is a game where I think India had fundamental strengths. Boxing is a you know individual sport, as Rohan says. It's not, you know, we have been pretty good at individual sports. If you see badminton, it's not a group sport. And I think somewhere down the line, as a country, we lost giving that much importance to sports. You know, today I am working with an NGO from the UK to devise a sports curriculum in the schools. I don't know whether they met you. There's a, a girl called Lisa Hayden, which represents some NGO group. They've already gone and met the Honorable CM. They've met a few private foot football clubs. And what we are saying is the way you do physics, chemistry and maths, you also need to play a game. I think somewhere down the line, if you go to Brazil and you see, football just comes naturally to people. You know, we need to inculcate the habit in our kids to play a game, whatever game it may be. I'm not saying it's Nestle football or cricket or boxing, whatever game. But I think sports, in some sense, develops you to be a good human being. You know, it instills a lot of values like discipline, commitment, passion. You know, being less, I'm, I'm not saying one should be not monetary oriented. Yes, money is important in life, but beyond earning money, there should be also some other passion. And I think sports teaches you that. So I think one has to realize why Lenny went and gave his entire heart and soul to the game. Because he loved the game like no other. And that's why we are gathered here today to honor him, to felicitate him, to show our respect and love for him and say that here is a goal who's made us proud by serving this wonderful game of boxing. So let me, on behalf of all of you, wish Lenny all the very best. I think Lenny, now your future challenge is to produce a few more Lenny's in Goa, as Rohan has said. And I think you should take up this challenge. I know Danushka is very, very passionate. She is the one who's involved me in boxing in some sense. I'm not a boxer like Rohan, neither have I any time played boxing as a game. 
But I think anything good happening in Goa, I think we should all support it. And boxing is a wonderful game, so good luck to you in all your future. I also saw a few names when they were felicitating that are young boxers who are getting trained. So anything that we could do as individuals, please come back to us and in whatever manner and way we could support. We will support both the association and you personally. Thank you once again for calling me here. It's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to honor a man who has done Goa proud. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate your support as you work for us to win the boxing scenario in India and Goa. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Felicitation of the man who has dedicated his life to the upliftment of boxing and put Goa and Goans on the national and international map. May I request Mr. Nenita Gama to step forward and our chief guest to present him with a shawl and memento. I request Mr. Um, a president of GABA to present uh, Mr. Lenny Gama with a check of rupees 25,000, a small token from GABA. We have a small uh, AD of Lenny Takama's time at uh, Tokyo 2020. Let's have a look. 